Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to have best of the worst heavy tank in tier 10, FAVA 215B. As you can see by mark of excellence percentage we are not done yet but today we will finish the tank but I don't really think uh, we are going to have an epic performance uh, anymore with this tank because we have one and a half percent left and if I will do everything properly it is going to be just like this. Schnei, 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 schnei and we are done. Uh, quick description of this tank. The platform is utter pile of shit and I truly mean it. Uh, it has no armor, it has no speed or at least speaking about the armor is not very reliable but it has godlike gun. The gun is better than Super Conqueror. Skill but Super Conqueror gun is the same on the paper. The thing is, um, this tank have better soft stats. The stats which you are not seeing in the game from World of Tanks side. And uh, this is the equipment which I roll with the tank and that's what I am doing. So, without further ado, let's teleport into the three battles. Uh, and you will see what this tank can do when all stars are aligned and when everything is ideal. Uh, you will see how the gun is behaving and everything. So, let's teleport there, shall we? And the very first battle begins. The first map which we have is the Westfield, which arguably is one of the worst maps for a tanks which do not have the gun depression. Um, but so far, this is the game where we got the most damage overall with this tank, and I think we played it uh, uh, pretty damn well. What we need to keep in mind, obviously, Arta, uh, because everywhere on the hill you can get hit by the clicker and this is not what you are looking for and this is not what you want. Uh, also, extremely important thing to highlight, the high explosive ammunition of this tank is solid banana out of 10 and you can actually use the intuition in order to reload extremely quickly and you can have a great time. As you can see, I have high explosive loaded immediately because I saw the Fava which is trying peer, peer, peer to escape. So now we are using, uh, um, we are pretty much trying to get some gun depression and you will see how everything is looking like. Look at this beautiful 50B hell low there, 513 in the face, which is just ideal, we are about to reload, can we get another one, kaboom, 450 in the face, three shells with a high explosives and we have pretty much one and a half thousand damage already, which is absolutely amazing and it is uh, uh, just great. So keep this in mind, this tank is actually extremely dangerous speaking about the gun handling and what this tank is capable of doing. But the worst thing of all, this is the platform. So for example, if we are comparing, ooh, if we are comparing Super Conqueror and we are comparing the Fava, uh, Super Conqueror would be able to play in this position without bigger problems whatsoever and with a Super Conqueror you can be uh, so much more aggressive. With a Fava you are kind of holding the angle and waiting until enemies will mess up. Until enemies will try to be a bit more aggressive or something and then you are smacking them with your godlike accuracy gun. So, uh, skill, you rated Fava as a bad tank. Do you think this tank is maybe better? Because back in the day it used to be meta. Can you imagine, fellas, this tank used to be used in the clan wars. This tank used to be used in, if I'm not mistaken, 7v7 mode, aka competitive mode in the world of tanks which died some time ago. Uh, do I think this tank is not that bad? Answer is no. I think this tank is uh, still pretty damn bad because there is no need to play with this tank when there is Super Conqueror and Super Conqueror is pretty much better at everything apart gun handling but the gun handling is uh, super close to that. So yeah, here you go. There is the answer for you fellas. Um, I think that's what I wanted to mention with this tank. Ah, one very, very important thing, this tank is burning. So not having fire extinguisher, uh, it is it is going to damage your... Um, you will burn, okay? You are going to feel like um, 
you are playing not with a tank but with a matches overall. Look at this high explosives on and kaboom in the face. 400, um, 448 which is a low roll doesn't really matter going for another one and another hit 505. So we used all our high explosives nice this is exactly what we want to see and we still have a lot of things to do as you can see yourself and enemy team by the looks of it they are winning by 4000 HP but we are not panicking too much we have all time in the world of tanks trying to find the angle for the E4 unfortunately I do not have the gun depression which sucks but not much what we can do about this but I noticed that the Amax 50B which is down to one shotable so now I am kind of thinking I would love to be the living crap out of this 50B and you know what I am paying attention at the 50B and 50B is thinking about escaping and obviously he is getting gaffed because we are paying attention beautiful even though we are losing the game by 4000 HP it is half of the trouble still and look at this beautiful accuracy now pay attention to this beautiful accuracy my friends look at this hello you stopped for a second here you go um i believe every single of you are noticing skill you gold spammer skill i thought you never ever spammed gold skill gold noob there are some tanks which with which i will play only with a full gold especially when marking the tank and this is one of those because you need to highlight the strengths of the tank aka uh, you need to make the gun as good as possible and as uh, uh, as enjoyable as possible because otherwise you will lose your brain cells and you will say uh, hell no uh, I cannot stand it by the way our HP is looking a bit better now which is actually amazing um, although enemy art is saying hello did you forgot me and yeah I kind of did it's fine fellas score 7 to 8 minus 3000 HP but this is completely fine uh, we should make it work anyways and we are sitting on 6000 damage already which is extremely good thing and I am super happy with all of this uh, my biggest threat currently is this 140 and I truly want to eliminate 140 from the game but first of all I kind of want to hit the mouse in the face too. Uh, my, this mouse is not bad, he knows about the side scrapping at least, he is trying to side scrap which is, uh, which is a very good thing. Although what I know, I know 140 needs to die. That's what I know. By the way, uh, have you seen how the score changed? Uh, by the looks of it, our team is winning because uh, other side got cleared and this is absolutely amazing thing. Beautiful. Uh, we know one for, uh, we know 430U has quite a bit of HP. I see the IS-7. IS-7 is seeing us. We are trying to smack him. Unfortunately, I'm missing the shot, but it doesn't really change anything. Garda is smacking us once again, but once again, I just don't really here and now we are getting involved into the bang with a Mr. Mouse. Mouse is slow. We are we are feeling like Ferrari against the mouse and the mouse is going back to the garage. We are sitting on the 6.4 thousand damage already. By the way, this is the best game. Um, speaking about how much damage which uh, we have dealt over the games which I played and I am going to show the score of this vehicle uh, after after the three battles. Okay, so keep this in mind. Meanwhile, this is very uh, weird phenomenon. What happened? This guy, Amoreka, die 7 and die 7 turret, jumped on the 430U and 430U is use, losing HP. Can you imagine? This is such a uh, weird thing and it is happening extremely, extremely rarely. But uh, um, unlucky for that guy, he just lost like 400 HP or so. Uh, now, spoiler alert, this hit is a hit directly to the art. So we have one uh, um, extra shot there obviously it's not on the scoreboard but you are going to see that yourself meanwhile we are taking our time to rig brother in arms and as you can see is7 and 430u they accepted platoon which is actually amazing uh, you know i have my addictions for brother in arms and everything um, i thought this guy is sitting uh, here in the corner and I kind of destroyed the building and I'm pretty much waiting until he is going to get spotted as you can see he is getting spotted with uh, with like minus 400 HP that means uh, we connected our shot and that's great um, and speaking about the long range shots skill can this time hit long range shots like pixel shots or shots into the move at the moving target is it even possible i mean i know this tank is not great skill i know i get it but can you hit shots like this yeah you can you can 
over 7,000 damage, which uh, was extremely great performance, and I think we made this tank work pretty damn well. Uh, obviously, this is only one out of three games which I want to show you, so let's teleport into the other game, shall we? Karelia, fellas, Karelia, one of the best maps, in my humble opinion, to attack. So, uh, what do you think how this battle will go? Um, we are extremely lucky with matchmaking, there is no Arthas whatsoever, which is absolutely amazing for this tank, because, you know, lesser of the chance you are going to get banged. Um, and overall, enemies are not looking that dangerous. Whenever you are playing with a tier 10 against the tier 8, uh, you are feeling kind of relieved and you are feeling like you have a pretty damn uh, huge advantage, if you would ask me. Um, and the main reason why, because obviously, like, uh, in this kind of situation, um, we have, like... Uh, Three, uh, actually one fifth of the enemies, which is the same tier, and four fifths of the enemies, which is having one or another disadvantage for themselves because they are simply uh, lower tiers. Um, and in this game, fellas, you are going to see how to um, use one of the most important positions, especially when there is no Arthas, which is Alpha Zero, whenever you need to attack the base, and especially if enemies are being, uh, uh, if enemies are thinking about making a bit of pressure. This is just godlike position, and it doesn't really matter you have gun depression or you don't. You still can make it work, and you can make enemies suffer, and this is our plan, and this is our our dream and this is our goal so for now I am just chilling I'm allowing them to um, get a bit um, more up and you know what the Udes is kind of stopping them from doing so but we are fine relax take it easy we are trying to find the angle and oh boy oh boy mr. is3 how are you doing are you enjoying yourself look we are a hold down, we have upper ground, enemies are on the lower ground and what that pretty much means, that pretty much means they have a huge disadvantage for yourself, uh, for themselves and this is what we need. A lower plate, clean shot uh, uh, and remember whenever enemies are trying to aim for, for your frontal mantlet or alternatively whenever enemies are aiming for your cupolas, remember to wiggle your turret because it is going to make the target so much harder to hit. Um, hitting E75 Cupola with this tank, it is like nothing. It is like uh, a piece of cake and it is pretty damn easy thing to do. And this is what I was adoring with this tank when I was playing. And by the way, today I am going to finish this tank. So if you want to see this tank in action with the live battles and everything, uh, you know we are to find me, fellas. So, beautiful. It, although in this position you need to be patient, you simply cannot go in front and uh, uh, think I am going to bang them all and uh, you know they can go and have themselves. This is not so simple and you see this is what we need. We need them to make some silly goose mistakes like this Progetto is doing and this Progetto is doing a very bad thing. You should never peek against the person which is playing perfectly hold down. Because what you are seeing here, it is just simply uh, greediness or maybe lack of patience. So don't be Progetto, fellas. Uh, or if you are playing um, in this position, just don't peek. Wait until um, the enemies will start approaching the position. Uh, or approaching you, I suppose to say. That's okay, even though we are taking 400 in the face from E75 it absolutely changes nothing plus on top of that watch this we are just trying to I uh, hit the Progetto because he is in pretty damn shitty ass angle now or in position I suppose to say so everything is looking good the score is okay uh, I am thinking about eliminating um, prototype from the game and I'm trying to figure out where the flying F he is and uh, as you can see it is very hard to do so because he is not in the typical bushes or something I am aiming for the cupola but I changed my mind because E3 decided to make pressure together with us we are eliminating E75 from the game and all we need to do we need to keep making pressure there as you can see uh, prototype is sitting uh, pretty damn perfectly hold down 
But even though if he is perfectly hold down, the gun handling of this vehicle is pretty damn nice. Um, unfortunately, our shell was too slow to finish him off, but it doesn't really change absolutely anything. We are sitting on 3.9 thousand damage, which is absolutely great. Uh, and uh, overall, fellas, this performance which you are seeing here, it is, watch this, watch this, high explosive, boom, penetration of the high explosive into Esterva Cupola from roughly 350 meters or something. That was nice usage of the intuition skill and everything. Um, you will see average performance which we managed to craft with this time, but keep this in mind. I was using absolutely everything what I could for my uh, benefits. By saying this, I mean gold ammunition, check. Uh, big repair kits, small repair kits from 95% or something, check. Um, directive, check. If I'm not mistaken, I am definitely using directive. So yeah, uh, con thinking about those things, we pretty much made the tank as good as possible and we are using every single uh, benefit in our favor. Uh, because otherwise, unfortunately, but this vehicle would be simply uh, uh, unplayable in a way or alternatively, it would take forever and ever. Watch this, uh, watch this situation fellas we will shred this vaza like hot knife through the butter this is going to be beautiful and i had i was adoring uh, this tank gun honestly i said multiple times on the stream uh fellas this gun is absolutely godlike the gun handling of this vehicle is out of this world and the gun is just a uh, uh, solid banana out of 10 honestly that's what i said and i have uh, nothing to hide there is still 3.7 thousand HP left in this battle, uh, but you know what, I am not rushing to go neither for Progetto, uh, neither for Object, neither for T-34. Speaking about the Object, we are tracking him. Tracking damage would be quite a nice thing, but unfortunately we are not claiming it. Although, once again, we are hitting his ass and we are getting free extra shot, which is absolutely amazing. Meanwhile, Leo Pata is getting spotted, but our E3 uh, is ignoring him for obvious reasons, and I would do the same thing as he does. He killed the E3, killed the Progetto, the T-34 is like a tourist, and I said for a stream, guys, I can bet from whatever you want, this guy is going to pick in the Alpha 3. Watch this. Uh, we are trying to read this guy for obvious reasons, and I'm saying, watch this. Watch this. He's going to pick here. 100% and hello, sunshine. Garage. Beautiful. Very, very nice game. 6.8 thousand damage, 1.6 thousand assisting damage, and I think everything was done uh, pretty damn well. Uh, and we are not done. In the next game, you will see how to use armor properly, and in the same time, how to uh, deal with the stuff in... Um, very, uh, uh, how, how to explain this, in a hard situation, if I can say so. So, let's teleport to the other game, shall we? And we are back. Last but not least, the most intense battle which uh, we had with the Fava. And you might think skill matchmaking is in your favor. No Artas, tier 8s, and absolutely, it is the case. And against the tier 8s, um, even armor can work quite a bit with this vehicle, which you are going to see in this game, and this is going to be pretty damn sexy. Uh, so, first things first, what am I thinking in this matchup, and what do I think in this battle? So, first of all, I am thinking about being a bit more involved, and to um, go to the Charlie 2, for obvious reasons, because from there we can, we can try to punish enemies. Or maybe Charlie 1 overall, so pretty much the road can be like this, or like this. Then when there is no Artus, you can usually play in this position without bigger problems. We can punish uh, people which is playing here, which is playing here, and especially people which is trying to make a bit of pressure like this, which you are going to see in this battle, and it is going to be absolutely amazing, adorable, epic, and just uh, beautiful. So, Fava, 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 and by the way, I believe you noticed us using the big uh, med kit and the big repair kit here already, and I think we are on the third mark of excellence, as you can see yourself, but at this point, uh, 
we need to have every single benefits to our side because the tank is not that reliable. I managed to be pretty damn consistent with the tank, but there was some games when I finished it with uh, pretty much two shots because I got lit on fire, for example. Uh, and you might think, but skill, if you are getting lit on fire, why you are not using the fire extinguisher, you little goose? Because it is not worth it, fellas. You are getting way more benefits from the uh, extra rations compared to the fire extinguisher. This is very important thing to mention. Uh, by the way, I believe you noticed that we are picking kind of sideways but I do not really mind too much because the tank has overall pretty damn low profile I'm thinking maybe we can penetrate the Chrysler but unfortunately it is not the case and if you would pay attention how many guns uh, enemies have in this side you would notice enemies have shit ton of guns here so I need to be um, kind of prepared for everything uh, now we are simply pulling back to find um, a nice angle to punish the um, phase one or E4 or someone else. Beautiful, very nice. We, are, we can penetrate the E4 to the cheek like nothing uh, because E4 do not have armor against the gold ammunition and I believe this is not a big surprise. How we manage it to penetrate the phase one I do not know and I do not ask silly goose questions. I'm thinking can we hit the E4 into Coppola and skill look into the max map. Skill look into the max map. I see fellas, I see. Chrysler is thinking no come here you little mosquito and I'm saying no bring it on standard B 60 dp Chrysler and I'm thinking help but you know what we are not going to give up we are just starting our journey 60 dp is throwing the shot which is very very good thing we are smacking the standard B in the face and we are trying to move our cupola as much as we physically and possibly can and the Chrysler is designed to be more involved and flank me I am politely asking for help from the STB1 and STB1 is helping and now we are using this situation in our advantage because we have a actually proper um armor in front of us uh, and yes fellas if you are wondering Chrysler has better armor than this tank does yes Chrysler has better armor than this tank does although uh, everything is looking pretty damn great we are sitting on 3000 damage already and we are farming the 60 dp like there is no tomorrow reload time of this tank with the current setup which we have is 6.6 .6 seconds which is amazing for 400 alpha damage uh, it is just a pleasure and now pay attention how we are baiting the shot of the 60 dp i am i am thinking how to make this guy to shoot for us and watch this i am showing the frontal and he just bounced hashtag never lucky beautiful very nice standard b still sitting there but soon he is going to change his mind for obvious reasons right because this is kind of a mistake for this guy stb is going with a heat ammunition which we can't blame him for this everything is looking gucci and look at this excellent angle for the t95 i am dreaming how to send t95 to the back to the garage i am aiming for cupola unfortunately this is a bounce but it's not changing absolutely anything we are this we decided to make a bit of pressure i truly want to eliminate the standard B first of all from the game and the main reason why I want to eliminate this guy from the game because he has auto reloader and he's way more dangerous tank than STB1 although STB1 is looking very sweet although I am derping the shot away which is uh, obviously my mistake that was quite a silly goose decision from my side I, unfortunately I did not aim it proper, uh, properly and what can you do good 4.7 thousand damage and most importantly 3.6 thousand damage blocked and as you can see enemy shot quite a bit of gold ammunition for us too look at this uh, reward for ourselves mr tortoise s and once again this is position where you want to be with this tank you want to be ignored and you want to nyum, 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 nyum. use your dpm to make sure uh, everyone will melt like ice cream on the summer day and this is how you are playing with this tank you are trying not to be the priority target for the enemies but you are the one which is um, which is banging everyone while using your godlike gun and godlike dpm Whew, that was a great performance and great battle. Uh, there is still a couple of enemies left and we will try to find them. I speed the things up a bit because uh, traveling with this tank on the 10 km per hour speed is quite uh, painful. We are hitting Mr. Scorpion in the face for 500 and Scorpion is dead. Uh, great performance, another 
6.8 thousand and we are very very close to reach the 7 thousand mark which for this tank is very good okay let's teleport into the scoreboard and i'm going to show you absolutely everything so let's do this and we are back in the garage okay first things first like i promised that i will show my average performance with this tank so so far we played 93 games uh we have 65 percent win ratio which is below my average if you would pay attention here but it happens this is not the tank which i truly adore and which i love um the damage wise 3.8 thousand damage i'm very proud of this result even though i was spamming majority of the well not majority all gold pretty much for all those 93 games and we have 900 assisting damage as you can see the best damage battle is 7.3 thousand which i already um featured as a first battle which is not that great for a tier 10 for example with 279e we have already 10 thousand damage game so yeah that's quite sad thing but it is how it is not much what you can change about this to craft performance to this level with this tank it is very 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 hard um if you are wondering how efficient i was for example for the last 10 games when i played with this tank you can see everything here 4.75.4 uh 4.000 2.3 6.5 3.2 2.8 3.1 3.9 and so on so on so speaking how efficient i am with this tank i think i am playing relatively well considering what this tank is all about and everything this tank is all about the gun platform itself is not that great okay so the first battle which we had westfield boys and girls ladies and gentlemen beautiful performance solid ace wanker high caliber rigged brother in arms which is all always nice and always welcome 7.3 thousand damage 1.3 base experience minus 11 thousand but it doesn't really change absolutely anything because we are spamming full gold and this tank is not to make credits anyways um the second game was on karelia ace wanker steel wall a uh, high caliber uh, 6.8 thousand damage 1.3 base experience minus 30 thousand credits which is not nice but it happens and the last but not least a game on el Luf with a solid performance of uh, six point 8,000 damage, 300 assisting damage, a swanker, uh, steel wall, high caliber, confederate, 1.1 base experience, and uh, obviously quite a bit of loss. Fellas, uh, once again, I was surprised at how this tank is behaving and how this tank is working. So, if you have this tank in the garage, <clears throat> I would highly recommend to use the fire extinguisher because otherwise you are going to burn like an old, uh, like a like a dead grass if that makes sense, right? So thank you very much for watching, my friends. I hope you had a great time. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Feel free to leave one of those. I would be very grateful and uh, see you very very soon. Skill is out. Peace. Brrr!